Hi guys, Wardrums here and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the team event Fall Ball. Since this is a team game, you cannot guarantee qualification every single time, as you will be dependent on your teammates performing well alongside of you. Even though you can't carry a game all by yourself, your contribution can make a huge difference. And once you get good enough, you will win more often than you lose. As an example, I have a win rate on Fall Ball on around 75%, which is quite high considering the 50-50 nature of the game mode. When a new round of Fall Ball starts, you have a few options you can go with, the most obvious one of course being running straight at a ball. Usually I let my teammates do this part, as it's very hard to mess up, and instead run back towards our own goal to try and defend against stray balls. The mentality behind this move is rooted in the core strategy I use for all Fall Ball games and is one of the core principles in a different game I used to play a long time ago, Rocket League. Some of these principles obviously derive from soccer, but I feel like Rocket League is a better comparison to Fall Ball. If you've played Rocket League a decent amount, this should not be a surprise for you and hopefully you've already implemented some of these strategies into your gameplay. The basic idea is to get away from your own team. Two beans in the same spot will not accomplish twice as much as one bean and is therefore very important to spread out and cover more ground and trust your teammates to fulfill the positions that you are not in. Just as with any other team game, sometimes they will fail, but you simply cannot be in every single position at all times, so stop trying to do so. When it comes to actually hitting the balls, there's a few things you need to consider, mainly the height and the momentum. If the ball is rolling on the ground straight towards you, the best course of action is to dive straight into it without jumping first. This will usually give the ball a great speed boost and some height to get it over potential opponents. If you are on the other team and see an opponent line up for one of these shots, a good idea could be to move away so the ball won't go over your head. Just remember not to go too far as you still want to be able to react and do a counter hit. If a goal has just been scored, the ball will spawn again in the middle. Here you can line yourself up to get a cheap first touch on the ball. Try to line yourself up so you hit the ball almost straight underneath, but just slightly on the opposite side of the way you want the ball to go. It does take some practice to get the timing correct, but it's worth it. This technique will also be used in regular play when you see the ball above you. In the past months, we've seen quite a few variations being added to especially fall ball, and although most of these variations don't change the core strategies of the game, there are a few noteworthy exceptions. Firstly, we have the Dizzy Height Spinner. Try to spend as little time as possible on the spinner, as it can be very hard to maneuver exactly where you want to go. Your main uses of the spinner should be to get from one side of the field to the other with quick speed bursts, or to get a lucky power shot on a ball. It should also be noted that it's almost impossible to get a cheeky spawn hit on this variation, as for some reason the shadow of the ball moves instead of showing exactly where the ball will spawn, like in all of the other variations. Another obstacle you will often see is the Pendulum Goalie. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of options you have when it comes to this variation, but try to time your shots so they don't hit the pendulum when it swings by. For other variations we have the flippers and the hammers, which can be mostly ignored as long as you keep in mind which way the hammers are spinning. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also leave a comment down below on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand or you'd like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums and you have been you and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life. Bye. Okay, usually I know how far I can go down. Usually is a better word. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that was a sick ragdoll.